Hi, I'm Andy and I'm one of the developers here at GDoc and I'd like to show you GDoc Webbinders. It's a website that was created with the GDoc application platform in just three days. Um, it's just a prototype but it aims to show you how versatile the application platform is uh, and what you can do with it. Uh, the application platform can be used not only to create desktop applications but websites and server components too. Uh, so the idea of GDoc Webbinders, the website, is uh, it allows users to upload documents uh, to their area and use these documents um, to create web binders. And web binders are a web version of the physical ring binder that you might have in your house or at the office. Uh, so the business idea of this um, website is that everyone starts off with a free plan um, which gives them enough uh, shelf space or storage uh, just to try it out and see if they like it. When they like it they can upgrade to one of the paid plans um, which gives you more shelf or storage space um, and other features such as direct integration with um, Google Drive or saving um, as XPS or PDF. Um, up to offline caching support, um, which is where you can cache your web binder offline so you can view it on the plane or in a train. Um, so we'll have a look around the website. Um, it's worth noting if this is uh, the sort of opportunity that you would be interested in, um, taking the application platform and making websites such as this, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with us and uh, we'll talk to you about becoming a GDOT partner. So we'll log in now with our test user and we'll go to the documents area first. So this is where you upload your documents. Uh, this user for example might be an avid cook and he might have lots of uh, recipes that he wants to store online um, for convenience and for backup. Um, so he uploads them. The website is built with MVC4, uh, JavaScript and CSS3. Um, and it uses the latest HTML5 uh, API such as the file API which allows us to do this um, cool asynchronous file uploading. Um, once it's done we can create our binder. So we'll create a recipe binder and we'll have a starters tab and we'll add the mini bruschettas to the starters. We'll have a mains tab and we'll add the mains to those. and then we'll have a puddings tab and we'll add the honeycomb to that and then we'll just go and create it. Uh, so if you were to develop this website further um, instead of waiting for the binder to be created you could create a queuing system a lot like Vimeo has with um, video conversions and um, this would open more opportunities for um, additional price plans so the higher price plan you have um, you might get priority binder conversion and document conversion. Um, so it's another potential uh, revenue income stream, which is cool. Um, so that's created a binder file now from those documents. Um, it's worth noting that the website will support any documents that the platform supports um, via its transform system. And there's a lot of uh, document types that it supports. Um, pretty much any you can find on a normal desktop you, you'll be able to upload to this website. Um, so with the binder created we can go and view it and again this takes it uh, from a binder file that you can download um, to a web binder which is one that you can view online uh, and again this could be a stage uh, a queued system um, where conversions can be queued and people that pay more can jump the queue to the top. So that wasn't too uh, long at all um, and you can see the progress bar down here is caching offline um, so now that that has finished caching um, you can return to this page in the future and you can um, view it even if you're offline uh, so for example if you've got a binder which is um, important meeting documentation and you want to read it on a plane you can visit this when you have a connection download it offline and then view it when you're on the plane without an internet connection which is very useful um, so this is the standard uh, web binder that comes with the HTML5 transform in the application platform. Um, the binder itself is HTML5, jQuery, JavaScript and CSS3. Uh, so it's using up to date technologies um, and it's supported in all the latest browsers so IE10, uh, Chrome, Firefox and Safari um, and on the iPad as well. You can go full screen which is better when you want to read it on a desktop. Um, if your browser supports it you can zoom in 
Um, you get all the other standard functionality that comes with the HTML5 transform, such as the contents, uh, the navigation bar, and annotation support, which is pretty cool. Um, so if we go back, uh, people that pay for the professional kind of plans, they'll get the option to embed their binder. Uh, so what that means is someone that owns a restaurant could maybe create a binder which is their menu, and they could embed this binder on their own website. Um, which would be pretty cool because usually you just get um, an old tatty PDF um, or, or similar or even a HTML page um, and it might be a, a more uh, inspiring idea if you have a binder for your restaurant menu maybe. Um, so this user might then want to uh, view this on their iPad which is um, you know supported out the box and they can um, go to the the binder on their iPad while they're in the kitchen and they can uh, look at their recipes there. Um, so it's very versatile, um, you can do a lot with this uh, prototype, um, it's got a huge amount of potential as well. Um, so if this is something you're interested in, developing applications similar to this, uh, developing websites similar to this, um, then don't hesitate to get in contact and um, as I say we can talk to you about becoming a partner.